So look, we're gonna do a quick 15 minute poolside all body weight workout. We got a long day ahead of us, no excuses. We just gonna get it in real quick and then get on with our day. Listen, 15 minutes of exercise is plenty, especially when you're active for the rest of your day. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If you can only afford 15 minutes of exercise, get it in. The details for this workout is in the description. Now I gotta go back to my room and wash my ass. This got lost in there, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to go down the stairs. Hello? Oh, yeah, you can't go through there, man. Oh, okay. I figured that out. Security will pop up on here. Oh, yeah. Level. No bueno. So I'm scrambling right now. I had to finish up the vlog. I set the vlog to post. Cammy had to run downstairs to get our food. We're going to Disney World today. I'm meeting with one of my online clients, my man Steve. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He hooked us up with some free tickets to Disney World, so I'm excited about that. We're about to go to Disney World today. You ready to go to Disney World? Let's go. Thank you. Yo, Steven. What's up, bro? Oh, you got the T-shirt on, my man. Nice to meet you. Up, man? Oh. That's a nice truck, bro. Oh, you got a, a work truck. The, yeah, I the, just got I got you for, uh, right. for a gift for Christmas for taking My pictures. My man started his uh his vlog. This is so dope, man. Your <laughs> setup looks better than mine's. Yo, this is my man Steven, right? So let me tell you about Steven. We were tweeting for a little while. He tweeted me a video of him doing push-ups in the delivery room while his <laughs> child was being born. I said, yo, this dude is next level. And, nice, huh? uh, and then and, and I think probably like a week later, he uh, he bought an online coaching package and now he's my client. So What's up? congratulations to my man, Steven. Yes, sir. Thank for, you. Thank for, you. For on the baby and of course for taking control of of your health and, and, and making it a priority, man. So salute to you, man. My man's been on fire ever since. I've been kicking his butt with some body weight exercises. Tell me about it, man. Tell my wife, man, Bricks is kicking my butt every day. <laughs> and she's like, hey, that's what you wanted. And I'm like, no, it's true, it's true. I mean, you gotta work hard to get it, I guess, true. huh? I'm gonna put a, a link to his to his um, vlog in the description so you guys can follow his journey. So look, we're in one of the shops taking pictures with the hat because, because we're not gonna buy them. We just need to take some pictures and then put this joint right back. Look at my face. Why do you look so concerned?
I think I really appreciate this more than the average person. I remember not being able to fit in the seat. So you guys know I always share my mind shifts with you guys. And I used to have a perspective on messing up that would cause all types of anxiety that was probably worse, that was doing more damage to my body and my psyche than eating that the bad foods were, the bad foods. So I no longer feel like I can mess up. Fitness and nutrition and being healthy and being well is a lifelong journey, it's a lifelong battle that's going to consist of a lot of quote unquote bad foods. So that is a part of the process. So if it's a part of the process, how can you consider it messing up? So just switching your mindset on, on just how you, you, you process that will change everything for you. As for how to eat when you're at a theme park, answer this question. How many times per year are you at a theme park? I think this was my first time, Kimmy. Year, yeah. This is my first time all year I'm in a theme park. So the reason why I mention that is when you're at a theme park, eat whatever you want. Don't overthink it. Most likely if you're in a theme park, you're having fun, you're on vacation, you're with your family. You don't wanna have to be worrying about macros and calories. It's one day. Enjoy yourself. Should you splurge for the entire vacation? No. But that, for one day, it's okay. And that's really the message that I wanted to give to you guys today. It's okay to not be 100% on your game all the time because you're not. And to, act, to, and to expect yourself to be on your game all the time is very far-fetched. It's, it's not even fair to expect that. So enjoy days like this guilt-free. Even though I'm not gonna OD today because, you know what, it's, it's more of a budget thing. I'm trying to yeah. I'm trying to stay strict on my budget. And, and uh, Mr. Walt Disney, he out here trying to get us a bottle of water, $4. They ain't gonna get this dude. What's important is tomorrow, after you had your, you know, your time to yourself to, and your family and you enjoyed your food, tomorrow, just make sure you get back on your grind. Hey, hey. Oh,